What's going on guys, it's Greg Mises Dyes and welcome to Tips and Tricks episode two. Some of you guys complained about the intro last week, so Pat, roll the new intro. All right, so this is a series we're gonna bring you tips and tricks we've accumulated over our 20 plus years of playing. If you have any ideas for tips and tricks, leave them in the comments. If you have anything you need help with, leave that in the comments too. We might incorporate it into an episode. This week, we're gonna talk about making the perfect tape spiral. So tape on the cross for a lot of guys is a ritual. They do it before every game. Some people do it and just leave it for as long as the shaft lasts. Everybody has a different preference. Uh, me personally, I do a tape spiral so that both my hands fit on it perfectly in shooting position. And so today I'm gonna to teach you how to get this spiral perfect and also a couple other tips and tricks for your tape job, no matter how long you do it. So I do it for both hands. Some people just do a little bit. Some people do a full box of the top. That's kind of up to you. Tape does add weight. Keep that in mind. So if you don't need it, I wouldn't encourage putting a ton of extra tape on. So what you're gonna need is some tape. We have Howie's Hockey one inch tape. This is my favorite, I found to be the most durable. Has good stretch, the width is great for a perfect spiral. We sell this on our website in white and black. You can snag it there if you need. Some scissors and some electrical tape and this will be a tip for the top. So I've got here a silver LTX, our new sliding end cap. Um, I just put it a little bit up. So the key to the perfect spiral tape job is uh, if you can see here, you're gonna overlap the tape and you wanna keep the overlap exactly the same as you go down the shaft. So you'll be able to see a little overlap and you wanna keep that little strip the same width all the way up. So let's start this off. We've got our tape, the one inch width is perfect. If you do a full inch and a half width, which is what some athletic tape is, it's gonna wrinkle up as you go around. This is the right width uh, to make sure it doesn't wrinkle up. So I'm gonna start and what you wanna do is make sure you secure whatever uh, butt end you're using onto the shaft. So I'll overlap a little bit and do maybe two or three complete rolls and press it down onto the shaft. This is gonna be a little wrinkly maybe, but you're gonna cover that over. And then uh, you're gonna start by just angling the tape slightly down. You wanna keep a lot of tension on the tape as you go through. And you can see as we transition from going straight into the spiral, it's gonna get a little wrinkly, but you can smooth that out just by pulling the tape really tight. And as we continue our spiral here, you're gonna see that it's gonna to start to flatten out. And so keeping the tension on that tape, it has a little stretch, is gonna keep it as tight as possible. All right, so now that you're in the spiral, uh, you're gonna keep tension all the whole time, slowly twist the shaft. You can see, Pat, if you can zoom in there what I'm talking about, there's a section of overlap and then a flat section. So as you go down, you want these overlapping sections to be the exact same width all the way down your spiral. And that way you're keeping the angle the same, you're getting coverage, so if you have a very thin section of overlap, um, the whole tape job will be a little bit thinner. You'll have less tape, maybe more prone to getting scraped up. Um, if you make it so that it overlaps and you're spiraling down very slowly, it'll be really thick, heavier, but probably be uh, a little bit longer lasting. So I have, uh, maybe that's just a quarter inch of overlap. And you wanna just pull the tape tight, spin the shaft about a half turn as you go, and just line up that overlap right there and you're going to see the pattern start to form as you go down so i'm going to go and you can start to go a little faster once you get the hang of it just make sure you pull the tape really tight right here twist about a half turn and then reset a little more tape out and twist about a half turn so once you're at the end i like to then go straight around the shaft without any spiral for maybe one or two wraps to give a slightly thicker place for my hand to land you're gonna chop the tape right there, make sure it's nice and flat and get that edge pressed down as well as you can. So if you don't wanna do the electrical tape, you're done right there, you can see the spiral pattern. Uh, it's nice and tight and it's gonna last a while, not gonna pull up too easily, full coverage. But what I like to do is take electrical tape, which is really sticky, stretchy and weatherproof, uh, much more durable than athletic tape since that's cloth and this is some kind of synthetic material, I'm not sure what it is. Um, and this edge right here tends to peel up a lot, which is really annoying. So what I'm gonna do is overlap about half on the tape, half on the shaft with the electrical tape right here. And since this is really stretchy, you can stretch it really tight. And I'll do two full rotations around the shaft with electrical tape that's gonna overlap half on the shaft, half, there that goes, half on the tape job. 
and then make sure you just line that up really nice and press that down. And this edge is way less likely. I don't think I've ever in all the time been doing this, had one of these edges get pulled up. You can see this tape job is pretty old, but the edge here is still perfect. Um, so you run your hand over that, get that get nice and tight, and that's gonna seal in the edge of that athletic tape and make sure it never gets pulled up. Uh, and then what I like to do with a brand new tape job um, is break it in a little bit. I'll take a old glove, there's a new one, but anything with a full leather palm. Um, make sure you're rotating in the direction where you're not gonna pull that tape seam up. And I'll just go up and down and work the tape in a little bit so it's not too tacky, it doesn't give me any blisters for the first time that I play. Um, you do that however long you want, and then I'll break the tape job in and get it ready a little bit. Um, one final tip, a lot of people complain that the tape gets gummy or really sticky, the adhesive residue um, builds up on the tape. One thing I've seen hockey players talk about is you can put baby powder on it. So sprinkle a little baby powder on your hand or the tape, rub it in, it's gonna keep it from getting really sticky, but still have nice grip and feel. Now, so that's how you do the perfect tape spiral. You can replace this however often you want. If it starts to get beat up, it's really easy to replace. If you use those tips to break it in, um, it means you can pretty much play the same day. And some people love that feel of fresh tape, so do it as often as you want. Uh, one tape roll is gonna last, as long as you're not going all the way up the shaft, a good number of tape jobs, so it's not like you're spending a ton of money on it. So leave any questions you have down in the comments about the perfect tape job. Leave suggestions for future episodes down there as well. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. <laughs>